Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now this is the second episode of a relatively new series called Conservation Challenges, where as I explained in the first episode, I talk about some of the biggest challenges that conservationists face on a daily basis. Today I'm talking about a huge and constant problem, one that has existed for so long, yet still we fail to do enough about it. This problem has also been increasing during the recent Covid crisis. So today I've come here to the beautiful Lee Woods to see if I can find any litter myself. So let's go and find out if this problem extends to even the wildest corners of our country's cities. First and foremost, I'll spare you the facts and figures about how much plastic is out there and how much rubbish we continue to put into our environment every single day. Because the bottom line is, it's a lot. Too much. And unfortunately, the problem has only been exacerbated by the recent coronavirus crisis. Thousands, if not millions, of plastic gloves and face masks have ended up littered in the environment. This has the potential to directly impact wildlife in ways that hardly anyone seemed to consider in advance. One environmental group working in Mediterranean waters says they have seen more disposable masks than jellyfish whilst they've been out at sea. There are of course solutions to these problems, and at a later date I'll be making a more informative video about what these solutions are and how you can implement them into your daily lives. But until then, I encourage you all to have a little think about what you can do to reduce your waste output. This is definitely something that I'll be doing myself, having seen how much litter and how much waste can pollute even the wildest and most seemingly untouched places, protected places in our country. For example, how does this... How does that even get there? And it just stays there forever. So guys, at the end of the day, it's all about respect. It's about respect for the environment, respect for the natural world, and an appreciation for what it does for us in return for that respect. This has been a short, sharp message about a big and consistent problem. It's worth mentioning as well that solving an issue like this isn't about blaming people. Instead, it's a collective problem that we're all involved in and that we all contribute to. So make sure to stay tuned for the follow-up episode to find out about how you can contribute to the solution. This video was made for One Voice for Animals UK, who, like many of us, are keen to solve this crisis. They do some fantastic work for animals and they have a great directory for wildlife hospitals near you that you can call if you find an injured animal. So make sure to check them out, their link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.